it is FC Copenhagen, four, Manchester United, three, Manchester United, again, losing, again, in the Champions League, you know, Manchester United dropping three points after going 2-0 up, 2-0 up, clear, but oh no, no, just like typical Manchester United, when everything is going all rosy, lovely and rosy, and things go against us with the red card, everything crashed down after that, you know, reality slapped us in the face, like, and woke us up, man. Manchester United. It's just hard right now, guys, to be a Manchester United fan because we are losing silly games. Games where we were supposed to be winning, we are losing. Manchester United have let us down once again. And it's not, I wouldn't say it's entirely their fault, guys, because today was just the red card. The red card, I, I, I'm not going to lie to you, have massively impacted today's game and impacted the result of today's game because we was just wanting a result. We was getting a performance in the first 30 minutes. Manchester United were brilliant in the first 30 minutes and then the result we didn't get. We got the performance at some point, but we didn't get the result. Oh, it's just the opposite for us, man. How unlucky am I in a, a new Manchester United fans? Look at the first 45 minutes and I... I it was good 20 minutes for Manchester United. We was looking strong. We was winning the ball back. We was winning the final third as well. We was creating chances. We went 2-0 up. Rasmus Hoyland scored an early goal. When was the last time Manchester United scored a goal within the first five minutes? Climax within the first five minutes. That's the problem. I think we climaxed too early. We came too early. You know? And it ended up like, oh, floppy dick. Can't do anything f to win this game. Rasmus Hoyland with the first goal. I have to say, Scott McTominay cutting the ball back for Hoyland to tap it in and score it in a lovely tap in. Brilliant move as well. Aaron wan and getting himself involved with that. The second goal, again, Rasmus Hoyland. Manchester United, a lovely break. Bruno Fernandes winning the ball back and feeding in Alejandro Gonacho. And then Alejandro Gonacho taking the shot but with the deflection. And then Rasmus Hoyland getting there to tap it in to make it 2-0 and it was all lovely and rosy for us and then all of a sudden Marcus Rashford got sent off which I have to say was was it a red card in my face? I think it was very harsh because again Rashford wasn't looking but he used his body and it was a dangerous play dangerous tackle that's what they deemed it as and he was sent off and it was just from there I just knew it I just said to myself as soon as Rashford comes off, we're, we're going to lose this game. We're going to concede very quick. And then we're going to concede again by the second, by the end of the first half. And guess what happened? We conceded the goal. 2-1. Elio Nessi scoring that goal for Copenhagen, making it 2-1. It's easy. Just finishing it in. And then Gonzalez with a penalty. And then it happened to be, first of all, Rafael Varane hitting his hand. And then going to make... To, me, um, to, to Harry Maguire to hit his hand as well. This had to happen to be Maguire. And the referee pointed the spot. Boop, boop. Penalty. 2-2. Two, two. Gonzalez scoring that penalty, making it 2-2 two, two, half time. I was like, whoa, seriously, it was half time. And it was 13 minutes added on because somebody from the side in the crowd got themselves hurt and all of a sudden they had to hold the play. They're not players. They are not players. The, the doctor doesn't need that much concentration. What? Does he need silence? Does he need a moment of silence to, to, to look after that? Just get the get them out. But apparently they, they were fine. That 13 minutes was not needed. But that's what cost us. It was 2-2, two, two, half time. And then second half, Manchester United started off again the first 10 minutes in control. Well, <sighs> making it 3-2 in the penalty. And it was a handball for them. For Copenhagen, they handled the ball. Now I was to the ref, you gave them the same as that penalty. You must give us this penalty. And they did. The referee did. The referee gave it the penalty. And Bruno Fernandes, Bruno Fernandes scoring that penalty to make it 3-2. We thought, yes, defend well. Do it well, guys. And just hold on to the game. But Manchester United couldn't hold that anything down. They can't hold the lead at all. 3-3. Leraiga, whatever his name is, leveling in the back post. Diego Dalo. Diogo Dalo. You were sleeping. You were sleeping in the back post. Oh. And then, well, listen, our top goal scorer called, name calls Rooney, all time goal scorer. What? Another player for FC Copenhagen, 17 or 18 year old. Rooney Badeshi scoring that goal to make it 4 3 to win it for them. And I 
ah, I just thought to myself, this team, they just do this to you. And I knew was, we would lose. That's the funny thing. I knew we would lose this game. So much thing cost. And then Ten Hag, the substitution as well. The Mount, taking off Rajmin Shoney from Mount. For what reason? Was Mount were meant to score goals, control the midfield? No, we lost. What should you bring on Mount? Stop bringing on Mount. Mount has a bad record. We've lost every game, apart from one game where Mason Mount has played. We, we have not played well. All the games, when he's come on and done shit, we've not done well. We've lost. Nah, man. I've had enough of this. Manager made a mistake there, man. It's been one of those nights, Champions League nights, where I just think to myself, man, this team, man, sometimes, they just stress you out, man. They don't deserve the support, man. Play it like you mean it, man. Like the, the banner said. But it is what it is, guys. Player-wise today, I thought Rasmus Hoyland was fantastic. And Rashford was doing well until he got sent off. Bruno Fernandes was okay. Maguire was all right. Um, Dalo, what a donkey. Most majority of the goals came from his side. Majority of the goals came from his side. He's a donkey of the match today, guys. Man of the match today, to me, has to go to Rajmir Hoyland for his two goals and his effort. Donkey of the match, to me, goes to Diego Dalo. What a shit defender he is, you know. He can't do anything defending. <sighs> Here's what it is, guys. Guys, you let me know your thoughts in the comments. This has been your match reaction. Let me know who your man of the match, your donkey of the match. In the comments, your thoughts of the game in the comments. And then we'll see you for the weekend, for the watch along, man. Oh, it's been tough. It's been a tough, tough night, guys. As always, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united. Your boy is out. Peace.